Hey, this is Mike. Here's a 2015 Chrysler Town & Country L, and I uh, just want to show you what it looks like at night. Now, it's not very dark out here, but it is nighttime, but we've got all these lights on the dealership lighting everything up, but hopefully we'll see the lights a little bit here. So I'm going to go ahead and start it up. It does have remote start. Alright, so... It starts up and then we've got your parking lights here. Let's see what it looks like here in the back. Alright, so let me go and unlock it. window down up oh, can't do that until I push the button all right so now I'm gonna roll the window down and I'm gonna put the headlights on and the fog lights let's see what they look like see some projector fog lights but the headlights are kind of standard and uh, I don't see any LEDs going on here I'll put the key in there so it'll shut up all right so here in the back we do have some LEDs here in the back All right, let me go ahead and do the turn signals. And you got that side marker there on the side mirror. Looks like a standard light bulb there, no LED. It appears that you just bump it and it clicks three times and then turns off so you don't actually have to hold it there all right so let's go here in the back open up the tailgate and see what it looks like now somebody's put some of the seats down but that's good because we'll let me see what it looks like with the seats up and seats down got these interior lights there and you've got that ambient light across the top rail. So your third row seat has a light. Lights here on the seats. And back here, there is a big dome light in the tailgate. They kind of cast a pretty good amount of light here. But um could use a little bit of light up in here you I would think because when I'm standing here it kind of covers up the light now a lot of this light is coming from that big light over there a big pole light so I guess we could use this little flashlight that's on the side to get a little bit of light here but it's not really as light as I thought it was gonna be anyway that's what it is so that light is pretty neat but seems like when you walk up to it though your 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 body's kind of blocking the light anyway let me go ahead and close that down let's look in the side door got these lights here and this one has the DVD system, so that's there. I'm just going to hop in there. Let's 
see what it looks like from back here. All right. Sitting in the back seat, third row. We've got this ambient light here in the top, which is pretty cool. And we've got these little lights here that we can turn on if we want to. Those are the lights that were on before, and they kind of articulate around, so I can aim them in different places. power seat I mean the heated seat back here that has a little illumination power window illumination there but that's about it in the doors the climate control buttons are all backlit all right so the door I'm trying to find the door to exit and it's not illuminated but I can kind of see it but there it is but it's not backlit So we've got some light here, kind of lights up that pocket. This pocket's dark. You got your controls here in this in the door that's illuminated, backlit, except for the side mirrors. Handle's not backlit. I'm gonna put this seat back so I have some more room. All right, so I guess this is the dark, as dark as I'm gonna get it in the dealership, but you can see the steering wheel has the backlit buttons here. These buttons here are backlit. There's your gauges. These are all adjustable. I can adjust that. I can also, let's see here. Some of the ambient light, I can adjust that as well. That's with these buttons here. They got your regular fade and then your ambient light fade. Shifter, nothing eliminated on that. Here's the radio. Let's see what it looks like here. So that looks good and all these buttons are backlit. Let's see if I open this up. Got a little bit of illumination there where you put the CD. This clock is backlit, that's pretty neat. It's kind of like got a soft glow to it. All these buttons are illuminated. Cup holders have some ambient light. And Somewhere. Just trying to look around. Okay. Seeing some light. I think that's just from the outside light. But um, there is some, and some a little bit of light down here. I don't know if you can see that. So you can see that little pocket down there. Maybe from this side. Now there's some kind of light right here. You can see that little bit of light that's kind of shining here. I'm trying to figure out where it's coming from. Uh, anyways, there's a little bit of light here. You know, that's not from the um, the outside. But anyway, there's a little bit of light here. And the, you know the cup holders are illuminated. This is pretty much dark here. That's dark. That's dark. Those are the glove compartments. Auto dim rear view mirror has a little button there that's backlit. These lights you can turn on and off. There's your 
sunglasses place that's dark and there's your uh, illuminated backlit buttons for opening up your tailgate and your side doors it's got a mirror with one light there so curious about where that light's coming from maybe it's my imagination I don't know but anyways that's basically the vehicle um, has a lot of light when you open up the door not really seeing any illumination in the floorboard when the lights are out but when I turn everything on it's very bright in here you see all the way back there is all bright all their seats and even with the lights on I don't see any floorboard not really seeing any floorboard illumination there so other than just the light that happens to get down there anyway if you have any questions anything to add let me know my name is Mike and leave some stuff in the comments or you can email me my email address is in the description see you next time